You know it's spring when you got this guy. <laughs> Look at him, bending his neck like an indigo. All right guys, it is finally spring here up north and today I'm looking for hognose snakes which are one of my favorite species and uh, I'm really hoping to find an orange one. I'm hiking where I've had some luck in the past so we're gonna see what we can find. Hopefully we turn something cool up. Woohoo. Whoa, look at that. That's three species under one flip. We've got a smooth earth, a worm snake, and a brown snake. That's wild. Check that out. That's all the common fossorials we have around. And fossorial snakes, because they're so small and dainty and worm-like like this, uh, their main defense mechanism is pooping. They don't even bite, or these species don't, and uh, they smell because they musk on you. So, yeah, cool. Got the first three snakes of the day. And we're gonna put them back. Look at these little guys, though. Got the worm snake, brown snake right there, and then where's the, the earth snake? Ah, poking his head out right there. Nice. Ugh. Oh, brown snake. That little guy. Nice. Pretty cool. Oh, big spider. That guy. Oh, brown snake. Yeah, that guy. Nice probably the prettiest brown snake we've seen so far today. Not what I'm looking for, but just starting off the day with some little fossorial guys. Excuse me. Oh, another brown snake. Man, they are out today. Storia. It's gone belly up. found this brown snake. It's pretty common to see a lot of Storia, specifically brown snakes, early and late in the season. Cool. Hey bud, that fox totally didn't see me until like I made a little noise. I made like a mouse noise and it turned and then it looked, saw me and freaked out and left. It was pretty funny though, he came trotting like right by me. All right, we got a snake crossing the road here. That's cool. Nice little rat snake. Oop. Nice. Happy to see this guy. That's awesome. Nice little Easter rat snake. Kind of a cool age. Saw him crossing the road while I was walking. And uh, he did that cool thing where they kink up. Not really sure why rat snakes do that. I think it might be to break up their profile. Maybe look more like a shadow or a branch. But uh, yeah, cool. Glad to be seeing some snakes out and about on this beautiful spring day. Look, we've got butterflies and flowers in the background. This guy's not happy though. Sweet. All right, letting this guy on his way. That's cool. All right guys, uh, I'm driving around right now. I spent a couple hours hiking and didn't really see a whole lot. So there's snakes out and about today. It's super warm. Uh, things should be awake. And after seeing that rat snake crossing the road earlier, I figured I might drive around a bit and we're actually gonna get a storm. So could push some activity. We'll see what happens. I'll let you guys know. All right, let's see 
of flipping is going to turn the day around. Oop, a little worm snake. There he is. This guy's tiny. That's a tiny little worm snake. Look at that. Would you even believe that that's a snake? If you weren't a snake person? <laughs> or if you weren't savvy with reptiles? I don't know. It's pretty funny. I'm gonna put them back. Oh yeah! Yes! That is exactly what I was hoping to find. Heck yeah, dude! Oh, beautiful Mole King! Oh, yes! I had a feeling I could get one. Oh, heck yeah, dude. Beautiful snake. Look at that. Nice red on it. Oh, man, that makes the day worth it for me. I was getting worried. Oh, it's been a long day. Finally, we got into something good. That's awesome. Man, dude, this thing is absolutely gorgeous. This was like my secondary target of the day. After I failed seeing hog noses, I was like, man, I'd really love to see a mole king. And uh, this is a gorgeous one. It's like gold with nice red splotches. It's a really, really pretty one. That is just awesome. So pretty. I'm going to take some pictures of the snake and then, of course, I'm going to put it back. But man, that is awesome. Wow. Look at this little guy, thinks he's all that. Thinks he's all tough. He's wiggling the tail. You're not so tough, dude. All right, letting this beautiful mole king go. That's just awesome. Well guys, I am just absolutely stoked about that. It's been really, really hot for this early in the season. And uh, on top of that, it's been a grind of a day. But yeah, finally made something happen. It's rare that I get to see mole kings. I don't really live super close to where they are. And uh, I mean, I don't think I even saw one last year. So this is my first in a while. Let's see. Anybody, anybody? Looks pretty good. All right, guys, uh, that was a long day, but definitely worth it. Glad to have gotten that Mole King. I'm going to pick things up another day, so uh, see you guys in a bit. All right, guys, I'm actually out local today, and uh, I'm going to be flipping some boards with my friend DiCarlo. I put these boards out, like, I don't know, just a couple weeks ago, maybe a couple months ago, and uh, we're going to see if they have anything under them, and then we're going to hike around a little bit and see what we can do. Tunnels already. Mm -hmm. That's a good thing. Oh, there's a snake, a brown snake down here. Look at that. Oh no, it's a red bellied snake. All right, well, I didn't realize it when I picked this guy up, but he's got like an awful case of SFD just covered in lumps and crap. So I'm gonna put him back down and sanitize my hands before I leave. Go find a way to shed. Oh, oh, green snake right there. Look at that. DiCarlo, go for it. Pick him up. No way. Dude. Oh, you're kidding me. I just put these out. I can't believe it. I just put these boards out. Dude. Yeah, he's also got some fungal disease. Wow, fungal disease is really present at this site, I guess. That's awesome. Just put these boards out. It took so long to see him. He was yeah. so camouflaged. We were looking all around. 
Smooth green snake. That's like really, seriously, like one of the things I hope to see. And they're not really common at this site either. Um, I don't know that they're common anywhere, but the it's my first of the saw, year. Is that a rough king, uh, green snake or a smooth one? No, green smooth. Snake, smooth, that was smooth that was yeah. Smooth. Oh, that's so cool. That's awesome. Pretty. Look at that brand new cover. And we've got one of the top targets I had here under it, other than hognose. Like that right there, that bubble on the neck is pretty mm. textbook snake fungal disease. So again, we're going to sanitize when we leave this spot so we don't spread it around. Um, but he'll be able to shed it out. He seems like a healthy snake and he'll live his life out here. That's so cool. So badass. All right, yeah, we're putting it back. Oh, oh, try to put the head. He's going to go not want to go under there. There you go. Oh. Oh. Come on, go back under my board. Absolutely does not want to. Look at him going across my board now. <laughs> He's got no traction on there. Huh, that's funny. He'll find his way. All right, that's pretty sweet. First little, I guess it's my first little local outing of the year and uh, green snake under cover I just set out. That was one of the top targets that I uh, put this cover out for, so that's cool. He looks rough. One of his eyes is totally like a dud. And he's got blisters and things. That's cool though. All right, we'll put him back where he is. Because usually it's rat snakes we see around here. Hey. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. Money shot. Yeah, he's got like blue colors to him. All right, it's kind of cool. This guy's got like a blue hue to him. And then I've never seen this on a racer before, but he's got like these like tiger stripes almost. Look at that. I've never seen that. It's probably a product of his age, like residual juvenile patterning, but that's really neat. Nobody. No. All right, guys, check this out. Oh, no, it's starting to move. Nice big yellow timber right there. That's not the only one. I'm looking at, that was the one I wanted to get a better look at though. I waited too long. There's another right there. And then, now peeking his face out is at least one. Kind of looks like there's the body of a second one behind it. Oh, that's so sweet. Looks like there's rattlesnakes everywhere right here. All right, I'm gonna s try to sneak past these ones. See if I can get a better look at the big yellow one up here. There we go. Wow, cool to see a nice yellow one. Probably gonna leave it alone though. Oh, it's coiled nicely right now. This guy is spring-loaded and ready for action, so uh, we're going to step back and leave him alone. Woo! And there's one right there, too. All right, guys. Well, we are just wrapping up for the day. I got to go do work. I'm in grad school right now. I don't really talk about that much on the channel, and uh, that's why I'm herping locally today. Got to do some homework this weekend, so, uh, you know, usually when I have free time, I'm like bombing over to different states because uh, I'm in central Pennsylvania, and... Uh, you know, there's some cool stuff here that I'm going to be... And yeah, there's some cool stuff here that I'm going to be targeting on the channel uh, throughout the summer. But um, I'm really excited because in the next couple videos, I should be in some cool places doing some pretty cool things. So uh, look forward to that. I'll see you guys soon with some more content. Thanks for watching.